כיושב ראש יש לי הזכות לומר כמה מילים. הכנתי דברים בעברית, אבל אני אדבר באנגלית, או בעצם אני אחליף קראות עיניי. I try to think of a word that would describe the last 15 years, the history of the modern state of Israel. And I'm afraid that the best word I came up with was nisiga, withdrawal, retreat. Ideas that we would never have thought of 15 years ago. Who talked about a two-state solution? What are you talking about? Vesach was. Today, in good company, that's what you say. The only one who's still going to talk about Eretz Yisrael HaShlema is some wild kid somewhere in a caravan on the heights of the Shomron. Eretz Yisrael HaShlema? Ehud Barak said it. about 12 years ago, Chusla, Chusla, Chalom Eretz Yisrael HaShlema. I don't believe it for a minute. These fellows may be delaying it, but they will be in Yetz Hashem Eretz Yisrael HaShlema. But we have stepped back. Nesiga, we stepped back geographically, We stepped back philosophically, ideologically. We have stepped back from positions that we had taken. Do you know how many red lines have been crossed in the last 15 years? The unthinkable has become thinkable. Everything is changing. Yes, I don't know what we will agree to in, in the coming months. that a governing, a governing party, and, and I like Benjamin Netanyahu, I'm not a Netanyahu basher, I like him, but that party has gone from Shtei Gedot La Yardain to Shtei Medinot between the Yardain and, uh, and the Mediterranean. I mean, it's quite a move. And, and we keep... We keep crossing red lines time and time again. And we always think that, my, when we take the next step, the world will be our friends. If we just make this gesture, they will embrace us. All we have to do is just give a little bit more, and we're going to become the darlings of the entire world. And everything we gave, And every step that we took, and every vitur, every concession and compromise, we are still, not still, more than ever before, the most hated people on the face of this earth, bar no one else. Which means, therefore, compromise will not, will not do the trick for us. I'm going to leave out the rest that I have to say and just tell you a good word on the Megillah. And that, I think, may really set everybody up for the rest. It says in Megillah, they say, you know, it's the month of Adar, another week and a half, that's going to be Yerushalayim. And Yerushalayim, in, Purim in Yerushalayim is, is the 15th, not the 14th. In the Megillah, it says that when, when Haman came home after the worst day in his life, where he had taken Mordechai through the streets, of Shushan and had proclaimed, He comes home, he's angry, he's upset. He, he, he has been so diminished, he's dejected. So the Megillah says the following. He called all of his uh, family and friends and his wife together and they told him, listen to this. If, if Mordechai is from the seed of the Jews, this Mordechai Asher Hachilot Talin Polifanov that you have begun to fall before him, Nafol Tipol Lefanov, 
you will surely fall before him. Didn't it ever bother you? What kind of great advice are they giving him? What kind of encouragement? What are they doing to lift his spirits? They're telling him you're going to fall before him. So I heard many years ago from an older brother of mine, Rabbi Yosef Yehl Gold, Zechrenel of Rocha, who said the following, you know what they're telling him? You know what these Jews crave more than anything else? Acceptance. If you're falling before Mordechai, you know what you should do? No faulty polyphonov. Get down before him and tell him, Mordechai, you're terrific. Mordechai, we're going to welcome you into the family of nations. You're going to be equal with all of us. Butter him up. He loves it. He'll fall for it. I think we have convinced ourselves with every step that we take, this is it. This is the final step. Now they're going to love us. Now they're going to like us. It will not work. I believe, personal opinion, if we remain strong, unyielding, red lines are red lines, and our policies are our policies, and come what may, we're going to remain firm and stand firm. Our first speaker on the panel, the fellow I just met, and I, I already don't like him. <laughs> Justice Wiener. Uh, what's JCPA stand for? Jerusalem Center for Public Affairs. Author of Illegal Construction in Jerusalem. By the way, I want you to know why I don't like him. He arrived in Eretz Yisrael 30 years ago. A year before I did. He beat me out by a year. Justice, it's all yours.